If there's one thing the coronavirus pandemic has made clear, it's the importance of essential workers. Montgomery County government has hundreds of employees who are reporting to work every day to make sure the county continues to run smoothly. At the council office building in Rockville, you'll find employees who have been doing work that's essential year round. Council member Will Jawando recently took the time to show his gratitude to these public servants, including Anna and Isabel, two longtime county employees who keep the council office building in top notch shape. It doesn't always get a lot of attention, yeah. but you're literally, when we talk about spreading the virus and keeping it clean yeah. so that we don't have more people get sick, yeah. cleaning is a big part of it. So, yeah. and I really want to, and you've been working, you didn't take off. You've yeah. been working, right? Ever working, since, working, ever yeah. since the, uh, the quarantine started? Oh, I'm very happy to work, you know, for the county, you know, I'm very I'm glad to, for everything, you know. You know, the people are very happy to do the work, you know. What's it like with nobody in the building? Well, I miss you people. <laughs> we miss people you so too. nice. Yeah, we miss you too. Isabel revealed she lost a relative to COVID last week. Yeah, my cousin, husband, he passed um, Thursday. But knows her work for the county plays a role in keeping her colleagues safe from the virus. I'm so sorry for your for your yeah. loss. I've I've lost family members too, and yeah, it's, it's difficult. People, it's know, difficult. It's the council office building is also the operational headquarters for the county's public education and government television stations. Lester Alcantara and Jim Graham are there to keep residents informed. The silver rack up there are the IP encoders from where we get the other peg channels. Okay. They come to here and then they get processed and they go out. Could, and Lester, could you tell me a little bit about what you do and why this is so essential for our county residents? Well, uh, right now I'm doing a lot of bulletin boards. Uh, we spread uh, uh, news coming from all of you, from county executive, all the council members, council president. And uh, we are also doing all the streamings. Uh, we stream to Facebook and YouTube just to spread all the news, the, all the updates that we have every day and every, uh, and every session. It's so important that people know what's going on. They know what information is available, how to get testing, for example. You guys are helping put that out there. So I really, really appreciate it. Though the council office building is closed to the public, there are meetings that are being held virtually, thanks to Mark Matteries, who's been a county employee for 23 years. Sounds kind of funny, but this building almost feels like one of the safest places in the county. You know, we have a handful of people and a huge, almost empty building, which everybody's, you know, being safe, which is good. But it also makes us safer here because there's hardly anybody we interact with here, just a few other people. So really, I'm just thankful that I have a job to come to, really, to be honest. On our last visit, Councilmember Jawando ran into a friend he hadn't seen in a while, security guard Lance, who met the council member after he was elected and suggested he wear his agbada for his inauguration. Uh, this is uh, called an agbada. It's a uh, traditional Nigerian for a real special occasion. I think you, you were the one that said you got to wear traditional clothing. And I was All right. Like, yeah, of yes. course I did. Yes. You know, I've told that story before. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, that was you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on this day, there were two gentlemen that were there, both from West Africa, one from Nigeria, one from Cameroon. When I explained to him uh, my name and that I was a second generation Nigerian uh, elected to the council, he asked me, what will you wear to your inauguration? The other one immediately said, you will wear traditional clothing. <laughs> um, and immediately, and Cecily, my chief of staff who's here, was with me. I said to her, I have to wear an Agbada. You did? Yeah. That was beautiful, right? It was beautiful. <laughs> they put it on uh, the Montgomery County Historical Society. Both men were grateful for the visit and yeah, the acknowledgement. They, they really appreciate what you're doing. Of their part in protecting the community so government services can continue. We've been working as a team and it's, it's very important that we also look at the people like us we're out here putting our lives at risk, but it's worth it because you guys do a great job in Montgomery County and I appreciate everything.